So Windows should download your drivers automatically. However, I've been experiencing from time to time where the driver just doesn't install for whatever reason. So in this event, you actually have to go ahead to your motherboard uh, manufacturer and download the proper driver. And in order to do that, you need to know what driver you need, right? So I wanna show you exactly what one I have, which is basically, it's a USB, it's a universal serial bus USB controller, but it's like, what one? You have no clue which one it is. So I wanna show you, uh, there's a website that you can go to and actually plug in these numbers, specific numbers, and it will identify it for you so you know exactly which one to download. So if you want to find out more about that, stick around. All right guys, so we're on my desktop right now of the She-Hulk build. And if you come down here, now this is Windows 11. This will work the same for Windows 10. You just go to the start menu, do a right click. You come up here to device manager. And when device, man op when device manager opens up, you're gonna find something like this with a triangle or an exclamation point, something that has the drop down uh, like this one right here. See all these ones are closed But this one opened up automatically because it says other devices So normally that's where you're gonna have the issues where it says other devices This one happens to be the universal serial bus USB controller Now if we do a right click on it and we click on update driver We can go to search for drivers It's gonna tell us Windows was unable to install your universal serial bus USB controller so um, if you don't know where it is on your PC, it may not even be in your PC. So how do we go about finding this? Well, there's a couple different ways. You can download a whole bunch of them from the manufacturer's website, um, whether it be Intel or your, uh, the motherboard's manufacturer, um, Asus, Gigabyte, um, something like that. And you can guess at which one it is, as long as it has something to do with USB. Or we can do a right click click on properties, come up here to where it says details, uh, right here where it says property or device description. Uh, let's click on hardware IDs. And right here, the, I mean, uh, you can use almost either one of these, but the very top one, you're gonna see this VEN, and then it's gonna say 8086, 8086. And then you have the and symbol, but don't worry about that. And then you want D, EV 1137. Now, it's not always gonna be this number for, for everything. Every Everyone's gonna be a little different because it's, uh, um, it's a vendor and then it's device description. So you want those two numbers, 8086 and 1137. So now we can open up Google and we can do a, what's called PCI lookup and go to this website and right here and I've already done this but I wanted to demonstrate this so this is why it's kind of I already just type in those numbers that you had and we go 1137 go to submit and right here all the way on this side on both sides you're gonna look for make sure your vendor ID is 8086 and then you're going to go all the way to device id all the way on the right hand side and the very first option thunderbolt 4. so that's what we need to grab so now we need to go to our um, motherboard manufacturer which is the asus z690 maximus formula that's my motherboard. You need to go to your motherboard's website and go over here to the support page. And then this is Asus. Uh, so we're gonna go to drivers and utilities. Bi uh, not the BIOS. We want uh, drivers and tools. We need to choose which one it is. 
Windows 11. And then we keep scrolling down here until we find Thunderbolt. Let's download this guy. And we are downloaded already. Let's go to our downloads. And we got our Thunderbolt. Actually, I'm gonna just delete these guys out of here quickly. Go to our Thunderbolt. Let's extract everything right here. Need to extract it because it is a zip file. And we're just gonna go to Asus Setup and go through our prompts. Let it do its thing. And then from here, we should be good. I think that's all it had to do. So we're gonna do another right click here, go to our device manager. And look at that. You do not see that anymore. There's no errors here. There's no spot where it says others. So that officially installed it and we are good to go. Now again, you can do that for any, any one of those in there. Let me just pop that up again. Um, there we go. Um, you can do it for any one of those that potentially have an issue. Like I just had one for the storage controller. So the Intel uh, RST was not installed properly and which would have been this stuff. So I just went ahead and did all that and now it's working perfectly fine. And it is that simple. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And feel free to leave a comment down below. Also hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet. And also hit that bell icon next to the subscription button to get notified for any future videos that I post. And go ahead and share it with your family and friends. And until next time, guys, take care.